Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news. For those who subscribe, we want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We we'll say God bless you. If you're yet to do so, please kindly press the subscription button below. And now the news in details. No going back on inviting Chinese doctors. But they will not have contact with patients, says federal government. Despite opposing the idea by many Nigerians, including the Nigerian Medical Association and the Nigerian Association of Resident Doctors, the federal government on Monday insisted on the invitation of Chinese medical doctors as well as other health workers and medical equipment from China to help Nigeria fight against COVID-19. In fact, Secretary to the Government of the Federation and Chairman of the Presidential Tax Force on COVID-19, Boss Mustafa, described opposition as unhelpful controversy, unhelpful controversy, saying that this is a state of war against the coronavirus and time should not be devoted to unhelpful controversies. Speaking during the briefing by the tax force on Monday, the SGF emphasized that all countries of the world seek for and receive help in the fight against COVID-19, adding that the support coming from China was a corporate social responsibility initiative by CCECC, a company with total value of infrastructure contract worth $10 billion in Nigeria. The PTF chairman, however, assured that the Chinese medical personnel would not interface with patients or have a case management. Rather, he explained that they would train Nigerian manpower, advise on procedures and methods, install and test the equipment donated before handling them over. One major support that has attracted public commentaries is the offer by CCECC, a Chinese company to import about 256 equipment and items in different quantities, notable among which are 1 million, 1 million medical masks, over 150,000 pieces of assorted personal protective equipment, as well as 50 medical ventilators. The company has also proposed to sponsor public health experts to help strengthen our public health capacity and advice on processes and procedures. However, I wish to clarify that all countries of the world seek for and receive help in the fight against COVID-19. The support coming from China is a corporate social responsibility initiative by CCECC, a company with total value of infrastructure contract worth $10 billion in Nigeria. The professionals that have been invited from China are public health specialists and medical engineers that will support Nigeria's capacity in managing the pandemic on adversary basis when necessary. While drawing from the experience of the Chinese, in no way shall there be case management and interface with patients. They will train our manpower, advice on procedures and method, install and test the equipment donated before handing them over. I therefore use this medium to appeal to our medical professionals to see the positive aspect of this gesture as an extension of development in the field of medicine. The PTF recognizes and respects the competence and capability of Nigerian doctors and other medical personnel. This is a state of war against coronavirus, and time should not be devoted to unhelpful controversies. Also speaking, the Minister of Health, Dr. Sage, said that the initiative would build the capacity of hard-working and resourceful Nigerian health care workers at the forefront of fighting coronavirus. The minister stated that the team of Chinese medical experts is expected to arrive in Nigeria in a few days with a consignment of globally scarce medical supplies to augment government efforts and build capacity to contain the COVID-19 outbreak. Dr. Ihanere said Nigeria was already working with the African Union, HEU, to develop a continental response. It explained further that a joint continental strategy for COVID-19 response has been developed 
and an African Task Force on Coronavirus, set up to coordinate preparedness and response efforts in the continent. Given the update of the cases, the minister said over the weekend we, rec we recorded 42 new cases, bringing to a total of 232 the number of confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Nigeria. They are in 14 states and in the FCT as at today, 6 April 2020, we have recorded five fatalities in today, all with underlying ailments. A total of the three patients have been discharged. We have 120 patients in Lagos State, 47 in Elf City, Ocean 20, Oyo 9, Edo State 9, Bauchi 6, Aqua Ibon 5, Kaduna State 5, Ogun State 4, Enugu State 2, Ekiti State 2, while Ondo, Rivers and Benue have one each. Wow. So guys, what is your own take about this news? You know, we've been talking about uh, Nigerians. We'll be talking about these Chinese doctors. You know, there's one of my news that I did that uh, I actually posted the news about uh, doctors uh, protesting that they don't want Chinese doctors to come to Nigeria for any, of, for any medical, whatever, help, medical assistance, you know. And uh, many more like that I actually did one video today again about World Health Organization saying that there is no way they could actually accept uh, uh, doctors from China. You know, this is now a reality saying that uh, the federal government, they've actually supported the Chinese doctors coming to Nigeria. You know, we don't know reason why the federal government are doing this, but I think this is not a good idea at all. To me, that is what I can say. It is not a good idea. At this present time, we all know what is going on in Nigeria right now. And we all know what is going on worldwide right now. I think each country has been able to, tr to help themselves. You know, each country are trying their best to curb this coronavirus disease. Every country has their own problem. In China, we know that they have the highest number of people, of people that are infected, including the United States of America. They have a lot of people that are infected already. And you now, for the federal government to bring somebody from China, I think it's not the best idea. To me, I might be wrong, but that's a question that we have to throw out. It's not a good idea to me. I don't know if others could actually say that it's a very good idea. Because the thing is that Nigerians should not support this. You know, you know they should not support bringing in people... And all, all other Nigerians are saying that you never suggest to invite China to fight Boko Haram and Fulani killers, killers. But you want to invite China to come and kill Nigerians. God will, God will never allow you to succeed in Jesus' name. You know? And they were saying that the doctors here have what it takes to contain the situation. They have treated and discharged many. If this is... If this government should force citizens to riot over this fake virus, they will never recover from it. It will be a multi-headed unrest. That Nigerian doctors, this case is simply, you said, you said to the minister that you don't want Chinese doctor help, yet they insist on bringing them. Please, once again, they come, you, they come. You guys should all go on leave. Let the minister and the Chinese doctor do the work. Exactly. Exactly. Since they don't want the opinion, since they don't want the wish of the doctors, I think it is best time for the doctors to go on leave and let the Chinese doctor take charge. Because I don't know why the problem that our federal government have is that they lack trust in all our people. They don't trust our medical personnel. And that is really killing us in Nigeria. It is killing us in Nigeria. And it is affecting the government itself. You know, I think all these our leaders, they, they, they are not being faithful enough. I don't know why they are bringing somebody, where they are bringing Chinese doctor, despite that we, note, that we know that the majority of people that are infected comes from Chinese. And still yet, they are bringing people. I can see that since Nigerian people are not dying from Chinese virus, 
And the federal government want to import the virus themselves by inviting China to Nigeria. It, it, it's a bit complicated. Because I don't know when we are going to learn from this, from our past mistakes. And Nigerian leaders, they keep on making the same mistake, the same mistake every time over and over again. I don't know why. I don't know why it is this time that they are supposed to be inviting China. That in which they know that they are the same set of people that created the virus. While other countries are sending them packing. You know, I don't know why our Nigerian leaders are acting this way. You know, I think it is not a best time. It is not a good time at all. It is not a best time. And Nigerians are also saying the health minister... I want you to note that there is nothing special about Chinese doctor. It is high time you started having respect for your people, your home people, black Nigerians. We are good in all aspects. Look, the best families in Britain as today, when it comes to academics, is the, is the people from Benin City. Invest in your people. Think about the future generations. Gather to your physicians and the scientists and find cure on your own. Stop inviting Chinese into Nigeria. They are shrewd. In New York, Nigerian doctors are the best. We have over 2,000 of them. You are young man and you need to be reasonable with any decision. Stop that selfish interest of yours. And exactly, the thing is that even in other countries, our Nigerian doctors are doing great. Our Nigerian nurses are doing great. I don't know reason why the federal government, they lack, they, they, don't, they don't trust our people. I don't know why they're acting this way. And when our, when our people travels all over, the, all over the country, they respect them. But our own leaders, they don't respect us. And that is where we are feeling right now. That is where we are feeling right now. It is crazy. So guys, what is your take about this? What do you think? Your comment is highly appreciated. And kindly drop your comment at the comment section below. For those who subscribe, I want to say a very big thank you to you. I will say 